Okay, today we're gonna build the cheapest possible two button foot switch for our HX stomp. You will need a TRS patch cable, two momentary foot switches, a stereo input jack and an enclosure of some kind. Here's how the switch will work. You have a TRS cable, TRS stands for tip, ring and sleeve. The tip being a foot switch 4, the ring being foot switch 5 and the sleeve is usually ground but in this case it um, carries the current. I have configured the HX DOM so that uh, foot switch 4 will turn on and off the reverb and foot switch 5 will be tap and hold for tuner. If you use a patch cable to connect either um, the tip or the ring to ground or the current in this case, um, the circuit is closed and depending on if you connect the tip or the ring, the HX stomp knows, hey, I want to turn on the reverb or I want to uh, tap tempo or turn on the tuner. First thing is to lay out all the components to see if they fit in the enclosure. This is what I had just laying around. Usually these things will fit in a mini pedal format. If everything fits, you can go ahead and drill all the holes. It's gonna be a quick and dirty job, so I'm not gonna pay attention to how the holes align. It's just gonna be functional, not pretty. It's always a good idea to drill some pilot holes and then go in with a bigger drill afterwards. And of course they don't fit. Time for a bigger drill. And at this point I've realized that the input jack hole is on the bottom and not on the top. Back to drilling. With a hole in the right place, it's time for the final assembly. Here I'm making sure that the four switches stick out the right amount. I'm going to use some electrical tape to make sure that the jack is isolated from the enclosure. Now it's time to solder. I forgot to turn on the camera so I already have one cable wired here. What we're trying to do here is um, connect the left foot switch as FS4 and the right foot switch as FS5. FS4 goes to the tip of the jack and FS5 goes to the ring. How this works is you wire one contact of the switch to the ground and one to either the tip or the ring. With this type of switch, it doesn't matter which pole you use for what. And here's our working foot switch. And of course I mixed up the tip and the ring, so I had to uh, reconfigure 
which button does which inside of the helix. Oh well. Without the enclosure the total cost for this foot switch was under 4 bucks. I paid 150 for each foot switch and then I believe 85 cents for the jack. Enclosures go for around 5 to 10 bucks depending on size and color. 